No, I'm not in the eye. See that left ear, it's dead on me. Now I'm going to step in the eye. So when you start off, you're training with a flag. A flag is nothing more than a gimmick. When you're done, you just show up and exhale and they'll come to you. There it is, left front. I exhale. Now I'm going to ask him to lower his skull without me touching him. Left ear. See, there's people up above. There's more things going on. Doesn't matter. There goes the skull. It's melting down, but he's avoiding me. See how his head's moving? So instead of touching between the eyes, the flag's there and he knows it. He has to make a decision. Can I walk past the flag? Or can I make it? Okay. Couldn't make it. No problem. Now remember the height of the skull. Remember the first time? Flag still on the ground. He has to make a decision. I'm going to disengage his hindquarter. Bam. Horse won't disengage their hindquarter unless they're letting down. That's the hindquarter. Forehand's stuck because the brain's trying to tell the horse to move. But it's not telling it to move forward because it doesn't want to. I, on the other hand, he already knows this. See how his head comes down? I'm on the right eye. Let's go. Release. Front foot, regress. Shoulders dropped, mine. Now, I need you. That's exactly right. Think. See how the head goes back and forth? That's nothing more than the brain of the horse. And I am contemplating lunch. Baked potato, lightly wrapped. Now, I'm gonna disengage the hindquarter again. There goes the skull. Hindquarter. Can't make it, run off. Fine, keep going. That was the wrong choice. It's nothing personal. Different direction, different brain. Different everything. Decision, right front, pow. Attitude, that's what that heights is going, going like this with the head, that's what it means. It's conflict. Oh, by the way, I'm fine. He's going through hell, not me. Now I'll exhale. Now you need to come toward me. Regress. Couldn't make it. Positive. I'm not going to touch him. I'm just going to breathe at him. Left eye, comfortable. Now horse, I'm leaving towards the flag. It's your call.
Breathing's just now been cut in half. Skull is down. I'm still not touching him. He knows the end result now. So now he knows exactly what to do. I'm leaving. Away from the flag. You're fine. Now I'm leaving. He's coming closer on his own. See, that's that thing about just breathing and they'll come to you. I'm going to leave towards the flag. So this is what proves to you this is a gimmick. It's a carrot stick. It's a 1995 ripoff to the general public. Can't make it. This gets solved by the tarpon flag. Now, now it's all about the flag. The speed of the horse is less now because of what I did just a minute ago. That was me personally talking to him. He wants in. See his skull? All right, now I'm going to let him go by me. All right, now watch. I'm going to turn around and he gets to pick. I'm going to ask him to join me. I just caught two horses in a really big corral that didn't want to get caught and I just dinked around for four minutes and they stood. There goes the skull. Now, once again, horse. There goes the mouth. If you can see the tongue, it's nerves. There goes the skull. I'm offering him a good deal now. My shoulders are as low as I can possibly get them. You get to choose. Let your brain decide. Can you make it? I'm asking. The flag isn't here anymore. Took off at a trot. I'll step into the left eye. Now, if you need to join me, there is no threat of a flag anymore. It's just you and me. Now, you can leave or join me. If I want him to join me, I can walk up and touch his shoulder and leave. I have to choose between disengaging the hindquarter or telling the horse he's fine. Because he's nervous, I'll tell him he's fine. your call partner you want to get moving okay get moving now this time I'm not going to raise my hand I'm just going to exhale when I'm ready for him I'll step in his eye though now part of the duh part of the parlor trick is that it's in the same place every time horses don't like things different when I later on I can do it anywhere on the planet but for now, I do it in the same area. Now, I set it up over there before. I'm going to exhale. I'm closer to him this time. Now, you get to choose. Do you want to leave or do you want to join me? That's called loading up. I'll breathe his skull. Take the pressure off. There's the skull. All the stuff from when we started is in his brain now. But there's no flag. You don't have to worry about a flag. Dead center of the horse. What's it going to be? Negative? Negative? That's how simple it is, horse. Can't make it? Fine. Leave. Go ahead and leave. Now this is what... When you do this, it's a whole different human, see? All I'm going to do is, like I told you when I met you, I'm not going to set you up to fail. Now, I'm just going to exhale. I'm not raising my hand. There's two steps. Positive, positive, positive. Positive on the left hind. Exhale. Positive. Right front stuck. No problem. I've told everybody for years, they can vote, 
and stick one foot. There's between the eyes, both sides of the brain. Can you make it? If you have to leave, then you can leave. Now this is age old. This has been going on for ever. He wants in. Right thing wrong, right wrong thing easy, whatever. Exhale. And see what he's actually getting over is the flag. That's what he's getting over. It's still that impact of raising up that pressure and he still thinks it's a, he's gonna get smacked for something. All right, that's his independent choice of fight or flight. I think I've mentioned you can't train a horse, but you can outlast him. It's your call, partner. Now watch him, he's gonna change his own mind. If you ever hear the sound of a panel, that means he's trying to leave. I'm saying with my right foot, you can join me. Can't make it? Okay. Aggression. Head turned in. You can join me. No, can't make it? Hell with you. Go on. It's your call. This is like riding a horse in an arena. How many times can you go around an arena? Right hand, now. Couldn't make it. Now, if I choose, I can go back and get the flag again, but I don't want to. This is the tunnel. How many times would you like to go around? Now the reason the hand goes up is because it's the same as roping them. When you throw a rope, your hand's up here. So you'll learn to do it all ways. There's a hip, there's aggression, that's fine. You can leave, he doesn't want to leave. Now the difference is it was the left eye. So I got half a horse. There is no flag. And we talked about this morning, if you have a really dumb horse, there's no contest. If you got a horse with a brain, it's a good tough horse like this. Well, careful what you wish for. I want a horse like, you know, he's got an, he's got a opinion. Mr. Doran said the horse is always right. So in his mind, that's the right thing to do. And that's fine with me. I'm not running around, he is. Now, how many times, horse? It's irrelevant to me. Now, the tables have turned. See his tongue? He hasn't let down. He's nervous right now. So I'm going to reassure him with my shoulders as slouched as I can get like a rainer. Now I can put a halter on him and lead him. Or I could convince him. He's not convinced. Both eyes. You're fine. That's what I'm telling him. You're fine. And this is that part about what you didn't want to do is go there and make him not like you. Well, I'm telling him I'm, I'm the leader, but I'm a fair leader. So you need to yield when I ask you. If you can't make it, I'll just drive you off. It's no problem. Now, if you get a tough horse like a young one, which this isn't, you just rope them a hundred times. And as soon as the rope hits them, they'll walk in. But he's not a colt. He's a horse with a opinion. 
he knows exactly what to do. There's no doubt in his mind to, that he needs to come in to me. No doubt. And two steps. Would you rather run in a circle or would you rather join me? It's your call. Arms down below my belt. Touch. Leave. Hind quarter. Always leave at an angle. There's attitude. If you take this stuff personal, you'll, you won't do well. But this is how far he's gone backwards. In other words, as far as having an attitude goes. And all I gotta do is tell him, you know, it's really, if you just try to get along, this is a whole lot easier. Now watch the bend of his skull. See, there's that spot. I'm like, no, I don't believe you. If you really want in, you're gonna make a better try than that. All right, now you have an opportunity. Hind quarter disengaged, nerves. Fine. And I've said it a hundred times, that thing about always licking his lips. Well, unless you pour molasses on them, they're gonna. But if, that, if you see that tongue, to me it's nerves. If they move their mouth with their mouth shut, that's when they're fine. Now, this is done by exhaling. So you get to choose. Do you wanna walk to me, with me, or do you wanna run around the crowd? your call my friend fine oh and did I mention if you don't have any patience and do something different see that left ear you thinking of leaving I'll change the left ear thing. I'm telling you, horse, it's fine. All you got to do is go with me. Or not. Now remember, when you step in here, you got to start this whole thing over. Well, so what? It's the beauty of a round pin. They'll be right back. Never take this part personal. Now something you've got to notice is that just by driving him off, he's slowing down his speed. He's not tired. You can't make this horse tired, but he is relaxing. First time. Heads in, right ears on. He knows what to do. See how he's slowing down? It's that distance right here. That's the fight or flight thing. I find it interesting he did that at the gate. Yep. There's the nose. So he's still got an attitude. Walking. That's a good sign. <laughs> You're still here? Walking. 
Now, whenever I say step into the eye, right now I'm on the rib. Now, here's the eye. See how it changes? You got to know the angle, like shooting pool. Now I'm going to pressure him and cut the krell in half. You don't get to do that anymore. Let's turn it into a habit. There's the attitude. I don't care which way it turns in or out, it doesn't matter to me. Let's make this harder. There's a walk. Pretty nice. Right hind, left front negative, hang in there. More energy. Head turned in and shut it off. It's your choice, horse. What do you think? That's what he thinks. And see, Chris, I'm really glad you asked about this because this is riding. This is, you've, you've reached a point. Negative. Get one more chance, horse. No problem. This is not to make him tired. This is to show him what's right and what's wrong. Watch his demeanor. He already knows what to do. Need to change. How far is it to Las Vegas from here? Where does the white go when snow melts? That's a good thing to contemplate on.
right front stuck again. Right front's unstuck. not leaving but I'm not going to do anything either so we'll be back after the commercial all right folks it's a all I've been doing is walking around the corral that's all I'm doing I took it from 90 to zero meaning there's no flag there's no energy there's no nothing but the time that I left him alone while we were on commercial break gave him time to process and you've heard me say this when you're riding. The most important part of training is laying down the reins and sitting very quietly on your horse. I'm trying to do like a magnet and draw those feet towards me. Now when this is over, this is Chris's horse. And when it's over, he's gonna put hay down in the corral. And he's gonna raise his hand, his horse is gonna come off the hay and walk to him. And I'm sure Wally Wines and Buck, they remember us just drawing our horses out of the cavy just by showing up. Because they're looking for the leader and they're looking for that good place. So it took two rounds with the flag to get the mechanical part over. Okay, so it doesn't mean you gotta cut his head off, it just means that's what it took. And I guess the hard part is everybody wants to know when do you do what? Well, that's the hard part, meaning you got to make that decision. The best thing I can tell you, which is a, you know, parable straight out of Philip 756, be true to yourself. Once again, I'll let him know, you don't have to worry about it. Don't be concerned. All you got to do is go where I go. If you want to cha-cha, we'll cha-cha. And remember the motor's in the back, so if you can get the hindquarter to do something, I think it'll push the front end. So his mind has to change to allow that to happen. And that reward the slightest try well, do it with your breathing.
Watch that right front foot. Yeah. That's what's known as a brace. So if you're building fence and you got good timing, you can have him dig your holes for you. There, it just made it. You probably couldn't see it from where you are, but it came forward half an inch. There, see it, it's unstuck now. And you know, we talked this morning, Chris, how deep you want to get on this, you know what I mean? Hamburger's fine if you've never had steak. This is steak. You know, we're heading for steak, not hamburger. You need, you want to get a relationship with the horse. There, thank you so much. Don't worry about it. And to me, in the brain of the horse, when he actually moved his front foot, right front foot forward, it didn't scare him, but it's a, it made him think, oh my God, I can actually do it. So I got to reiterate to him, yeah, you can move your foot. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. This is the part about being aware of a horse. There it is. Okay, so that's as far as it gets now. Okay, so, because once again, I have to say this every time, I'm not working for the four sixes or the YO or the bar O or the PO, which is poor outfit. I'm not working for any of them. So I get to take my time for once in my life and just work with the horse. So the right front foot was braced and when I come back, or when Chris tries it, it could be the left front foot. But the point is, just enjoy it. You need to get this horse back to following the leader. And it's a fair leader. I've been fair. But this will be a great video deal because down the road, when it's all over, we'll show you the end result. Thank you.